you guys about a month ago. I don't want my booze hanging. <laughs> I asked you guys about a month ago, um, you know, to post questions so I would answer them. So this Q&A video may be a little bit longer than my usual. Let's see where it goes, okay? So I'm just going to read the questions. I have my computer here. I'm just going to read the questions that were posed to me. And I'm going to answer the best that I can. And this is something that can, can, can be done more frequently. So now we have Tinsa asking if um, she was asking uh, if she's helping someone achieve something, would DNA help? Yes, DNA will help. DNA um, is always the closest link to the person. Now, you just need to make sure that that DNA is not mixed with yours or um, with somebody else's. That is just that person's DNA. Tina was asking, how does a person find out who the best deity is to work with? I hear people say so-and-so has been calling to me. Well, I hear nothing. I'm drawn to certain ones and animals, but hearing a calling, no. So how do you really know? So, Bettina, the way that you really would know is um, you need to have a divination done from a priest that does these things. I do the ancestral readings where you see uh, the energy of your ancestors, your energy, your family, what your totems are, what your spirits are, and um, you can... Other systems are also doing similar um, readings to this. Uh, the San Sista Lewis also does readings for your spiritual court, which are a little bit different than mine. They're not the same. Um, and he is talking about the muertos in your life and about different kinds of um, spirits. So you can go to either or. You can go to an Orisha priest. You can go to a voodoo priest if you feel drawn over there. But you need to have a divination for you to be told you know what energy is with you and you know who is in your spiritual court now Sharon is asking uh, you said that it's best to have ancestral altar outside your bedroom but I have a small place and that's the only private room is that okay now I do say that the bedroom is a huge no-no for an altar because first of all it's like a vortex of energy if you're sensitive you won't be able to sleep uh, second if you're married or you know live with a boyfriend or whatever the case is now you know where I'm gonna go um, having sex in the same room where your altar is is super disrespectful I know some people will tell you cover the altar please stop <laughs> just stop but if you absolutely have no room if you are renting just a room that's the only way that I would see it have your altar in your bedroom um, if you do that best place for it is inside a closet if you can that's me on to the next. Laura is asking, uh, can doing uncrossing backfire and create more bad to happen? Can it affect those that are close to you, like friends or family, either positively or negatively? I heard it can, but I think that just sounds odd. No, it can't. What can happen is, uncrossing would be similar to um, like cleansing right so you take shit out but you don't bring shit in so you leave the person in like a vacuum and anything can happen with that so it's not like it backfired it's just that it was not done properly can it affect other people no cannot affect other people it, the only thing that it can affect if it's done wrong just the person that it was done to now by it affecting the person that it was done to, um, well, if the mood changes or if this person becomes murderous, you know, it can affect other people, but, you know, that's, yeah, 
I was, I was about to say that's besides the point, but it's not besides the point. So, no, um, it doesn't backfire. Uh, another thing is that when the uncrossing is done, um, the person is probably left open and issues come up. Issues that have been buried, uh, they may come up to the surface and the person doesn't know how to deal with that surge. So that's, that's all that I can think of from my experience. Julia is asking, how do you keep ghosts muertos away from a child? My niece seems to attract them. She's probably destined to be a medium, but she's still too young. Well, you can have a charm that is protection from spirits, you know, for her. Uh, cascaria helps with that. You can just sprinkle some cascaria, pray it over around her bed. Um, but this may still keep happening because, as you said, she may be a medium. Um, stupid squirrels I hate them I do um what was I saying they, they interrupted me ah the muertos and the child you need to teach her um to not be afraid I know it's stupid it's stupid for a child trust me I know I've been there you know with my kids um because every single old you know scratch is right away you know they you know poop their pants and they're scared and uh, even now you know even you know it's still it's still hard but she needs to be told over and over again that she is in no case is allowed to show fear because they feed on fear the more she's afraid the more scary they will appear to her so you know that and that she's free to tell them to get the fuck out of there with a commanding voice to leave her alone and uh that's that's all i got for now penny is asking um will us would a step parent be considered an ancestor or um an in-law that has died all right so when it comes to the step parent that's a yes um, even for the adopted, I know that nobody asked that, but I will touch upon that. Even for the adopted people, um, their adopted family is their ancestors because they've been, you know, adopted into the bloodline, into the family. So yes, that is going to be an ancestor. Now when it comes to in-laws, now that's going to depend on a lot of things. Personally, I keep my in-laws at a separate table because they're not my relatives, even though I have come into their house and become one of them by marrying their son. Um, but I do keep them separately but, and I do take care of them regardless. Because it, for me it doesn't feel right. If it feels right for you and you don't feel any um, objection from your muertos, then you go ahead. On to the next one. Sophie is asking how to dispose of a leftover spell items like the leftover glass from the seven day candles. Should polluting the waters or it being found in the crossroads be a concern? Now I will tell you this, personally, the seven day candles, I toss them in the garbage, I recycle them. I don't take them nowhere, I don't bury them nowhere. Now when it comes to regular ones, uh, regular work. I gotta say that I do divination and then I ask if I need to take them somewhere and I do what spirit says because not always does something need to be taken to the river or taken to the crossroads it depends on the situation um, I know that it's not really an answer but that's all I got and again Sophie is asking does cascaria powder keep all spirits away or just the ones that you don't want to work with um, cascaria powder can keep um, foreign spirits away, meaning spirits that don't belong in your spiritual court. Cascaria powder does not uh, protect you from ancestors. That's it. Valerie is saying, life isn't always fair, but we reap what we sow. I personally really can't tell the difference. I, <laughs> I can't tell the difference either at all.
this, this is a lot of people asking about products and stuff, which is I don't want to address in this video. All right, now the last one is how do I know when I'm ready to do spell by myself for myself? How do you know? You, you're gonna know when you don't need to ask this question. That's when you're gonna know that you're ready to do it. But on the on the serious note, you need to have self confidence. You need to work on yourself. You need to uh, face your fear, uh, face your insecurities, and then have faith in yourself. And that's when you're gonna know when you start feeling good about yourself and stop feeling insecure is when you're gonna know that it's gonna that you're ready. You are actually always ready to start doing spells for yourself. Start small and then go from there. Um, the more results that you're gonna see um, it's gonna give you like a boost of confidence and then everything is gonna just start rolling the way it's supposed to. I had to check to see if there's any more questions under that video and there's none so we did them all and I hope that these helped whoever that they, that you know whoever asked them and even for those that didn't ask them but were you know asking themselves and didn't know um, what to do and stuff so that's it for me see you next time